Every time you say, I don't need feminism because, and then say anything, even a fact, about men getting the shorter end of the stick, you've always got this feminist that comes along and says, as if you don't already know, that the definition of feminism is the advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. How can you be against that? This may be the definition of feminism, but the essence of feminism is totally different. A good example of what I mean is in a quote from Data off of Star Trek TNG. Yes, I had read and absorbed every treatise and textbook on the subject, and felt myself well prepared for the experience. Yet when I finally played poker, I discovered that the reality bore little resemblance to the rules. We know what feminism defines itself as. Do you really think that any of us would join an anti-movement site without at least looking up the definition of the movement that we're against? I mean, you insult our intelligence for even bringing it up in the first place. And we don't overlook the past accomplishments of feminists from previous waves. Most of us acknowledge it and are thankful for everything that feminism has given us. But past success doesn't give feminists the right to claim current success. Neither does it give them entitlement to accuse us of turning our backs on women of the past merely because we acknowledge that the current wave is hurting our society and our relationships with our male counterparts. And when it comes to rape, like any crime, both parties played a role. We're not saying that both parties are at fault. Did they deserve it? No. Was the perpetrator wrong? Yes. Could she have prevented it? Maybe not. However, was it possible that she played a role to where she was a more likely target than somebody else? Yes. The same concept applies to any crime of intrusion, especially if that intruder is experienced. We're not saying that they are to blame for everything. What we are saying is that there's variables that make a difference and that will make you less likely to become a victim. So really, we're not slapping anyone in the face. Now, when a woman falsely accuses a man of raping her, she's the one who slaps every single one of those victims in the face. As though rape is just some tool to get out of embarrassing situations or for personal gain. And then, when feminism claims that false accusations don't exist, you make that slap to the face harder. And by doing this, you welcome more people the opportunity to slap these victims. Female manipulators and abusers are just wolves in sheep's clothing, and the current feminist movement just makes that sheep costume look a little more realistic. I have no lack of understanding when it comes to feminism. I used to be a feminist. And now that I look back on it, I realize that there were men all around me who were having the same problems and were in the same positions that I was in. Poor, hungry, in aching pain from work, no money, no medical care. But I did notice one thing, that I had it a lot better when it came to getting people's sympathy. And it was getting those people's sympathy that actually got me out of that situation. So I don't need to research feminism because I've lived it, I've breathed it, and at one point I worshiped it. But I am fully confident in my knowledge when I say I don't need this movement. We are not against equality. We are simply taking the spotlight off of the women in America and Europe, the one that has been beaming down on us for so long that we've gone blind and are pushing it over to where our men's issues are being illuminated. We are simply pointing out that women are not the ones suffering anymore in westernized civilization. That we, as women, want to focus our attention on our male counterparts. We want our boyfriends, husbands, and sons to be able to have contraception without the research dying from protesting before it even hits mainstream news. We want, as mothers of boys, to someday be able to have the right to see our grandchildren grow and age without having to go through some bitch with a chip on her shoulder. We're tired of seeing our boyfriends, husbands, and sons cry 
over the children they can't see because their abusive ex lied to the court, put on a show and got believed. We're tired of seeing our men and boys kill themselves at three times the rate of us and it simply get unnoticed. We're tired of men having no place to run to and always getting blamed for the violence. We're tired of seeing women killing their kids, beating them, ignoring them, then getting all the glory for being a parent. We're tired of the lies, excuses, self-absorbed and entitled. And all these negative things are made possible and grow with feminism. So, we're just tired of feminism. <laughs>